Hello, everyone, and welcome to another story time brought to you by me, Miss Sasha. And I thank you all for joining me. I thank you all for subscribing to my channel. Um, it is truly a blessing to see the subscribership increase. So I definitely am so grateful that you all are receiving value from my channel. So I'm about to get right on into it, y'all. I am just so excited because guess what? I just received a book from a local author and the illustrator is local as well. Y'all Cleveland representing the house. And here it is right here. Yes. Bam, y'all. The Greatest Treasure on Earth. Written by Bashir Jones and illustrated by Yakin Abdul Zahir. And I have the pleasure of knowing both of them, okay? I mean, for real, all right? I mean, I'm talking about, it's just crazy. And I just really, truly appreciate uh, Brother Bashir deciding to write a book, especially children's books. This is not his first book, y'all, okay? And I just really love the fact that he wrote this special book dedicated to our young girls out here, all right? So I hope you all enjoy this treasure as much as I have. Because uh, I read it this morning and I was like, oh, guess what? I'm about to go ahead and upload this today. <laughs> and Miss Yakin, I am just super proud of her. I know her parents very well, know her family. And she is such a talented young lady. And I am just so ready to get into this book, y'all. So y'all come on with me so we can find out about the greatest treasure on earth. Hmm. What are the predictions that you all have? What's the greatest treasure on earth? What are some things that are coming in your head right now? And let me read this dedication though. This book is dedicated to my beautiful and intelligent daughter, Asale Medina, and all the young princesses around the world searching for their greatest treasure. Mm. So awesome. Good morning, mommy, the daughter said. Good morning, princess. How was your rest? Asked mother. It was the bestest, the daughter stated as she stretched out her arms. I dreamed that daddy had a gift for me, and I was so excited, the daughter explained. Well, guess what, princess? Daddy did leave your gift before he went to check on his business. Look under your pillow, mommy stated. So daughter went to go look under her pillow and she found a map entitled, The Greatest Treasure on Earth. Daughter's eyes lit up with curiosity. The greatest treasure on earth, daughter exclaimed with a big smile on her face. Mommy, what is the greatest treasure on earth? The daughter questioned excitedly. I don't know, princess but you'll never find it if you sit in bed. Daddy wants you to find the treasure before he returns home, mother explained. Daughter gets out her bed, stretches with excitement as she begins her search for the greatest treasure on earth. Daddy always leaves me surprises. I just love him, she whispered to herself. Daughter opens up the map. There is a note from Daddy. If you follow the map, you will find the greatest treasure on earth. 
daughter yells. Oh, I am ready, daddy. She read the map aloud. Go to the place of your favorite snack. Daughter walked straight to the kitchen. Daddy must have known I would be hungry, she smiled. She opened up the pantry door and reached for her favorite snack. As daughter picked up the box of snacks, under it, she found her next clue. The note stated, go to the room where your favorite toy resides. Daughter placed her snack back in the pantry, wiped her mouth, and ran to the playroom. She scanned the room looking for her favorite toy. Then out of the corner of her eye, she spotted it on the shelf. It was a beautiful doll that her father bought her. She remembered the feeling when daddy gave it to her on her eighth birthday. As she lifted up the doll in the air, she felt a great sense of joy. She held her favorite doll close and suddenly she saw another clue left by her father. The clue read, you're one step closer to finding the greatest treasure on earth. Now baby, go to the closet where your favorite dress hides. Daughter knew exactly the dress daddy was referring to. With excitement, daughter goes to search for her next clue. She ran upstairs, opened the closet door, and there was. It was a dress mommy bought her for getting straight A's last year. Her favorite dress ever, which happened to also be her favorite color, yellow. As daughter took the dress off the hanger, she remembered the first time she wore it. She began smiling and pulled the dress close to her to see if she could still fit it. Just then, she noticed a clue in the right-hand pocket of the dress. She laid the dress on the bed and began to read the clue. X marks the spot, baby girl. Wherever you find the X, you will find the greatest treasure on earth. Mm. Daughter began to look for the X. She looked all over the house. No matter how hard she tried, she just could not find it. Mommy! Daughter yelled. Yes, my love, Mommy answered. Can't find the greatest treasure on earth, she said sadly. Well, baby girl, Daddy will be here any moment, and he was hoping that you would find it. Okay, mommy, the daughter responded anxiously. Just search for the X, my love, mommy said as she walked away. Daughter sat on the bed with her face in her hand. In that moment, 
and she rubbed her eyes. Daughter noticed red tape on her floor. It was in the shape of an X. It's been in my room the whole entire time? Daughter thought to herself. <laughs> Daughter raced to the X but she did not find any hidden treasure. Nothing was there except the X marked on her floor. Stand up, baby, Daddy said from the doorway. Hey, Daddy, daughter responded. I found the X, but I can't find the greatest treasure. As tears began to flow down her cheeks, Yes, you did, my love, but you're not looking in the right place. Stand up, love, Daddy said. Daughter stood up slowly, not understanding what Daddy meant. Now look straight ahead, Daddy stated. As daughter looked straight ahead, she looked right into her bedroom mirror. She stared at her very own beautiful reflection. The buried treasure is right here as daddy pointed to his daughter's heart. You will always be daddy and mommy's greatest treasure on earth. Daddy said lovingly. Wow. How awesome is that you guys? Oh yeah, I had, I had to let let the camera sit on the, on those images, right? Let me let me do that again. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all gotta see these images, right? They have to be ingrained in our children's heads. Okay. This book right here, the greatest treasure on earth. I truly give it a high thumbs up. What an awesome way to show how fathers, number one, are very important in their daughter's lives. And when, and it's so beautiful to uh, see and to definitely read the works of black fathers in particular, who show how much they love and, and cherish and treasure their daughters. And I truly believe when our girls in particular, when they have that foundation from their fathers, um, this will definitely create women who are uh, with the mindset of I have self-worth, value, and they don't try to go looking for value in, in other places uh, that typically will tend to demean their value or demean their worth. And that's why it's very important to have that healthy foundation from the fathers and of course from the mothers as well. But Again, that relationship between that father and that daughter is so very special. And I'm so glad that Basha Jones decided to write a book like this. And so again, The Greatest Treasure on Earth, written by Basha Jones and illustrated by the lovely Yaquin Abdul Zahir. All right, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed that lovely book as much as I did. Very heartwarming. We need those, those types of books, right? We need those heartwarming books, those books that really speak to the soul, those books that are uplifting, um, and, and especially 
when it comes to our black community. So once again, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope that you all like, subscribe, share, and comment in the comment section below. And make sure that you hit that notification bell so that every time that I upload a read aloud, you will be the first to watch and hear it. Make sure that you please keep reading for at least 30 minutes a day. My name is Ms. Session, and remember, reading is freedom. Peace.